In this video, I'll show you how to make an optional field in Sage 300. So first you'll go to Common Services. This is assuming that you have the correct and necessary permissions to uh, modify optional fields. So here are Common Services. You'll want to next go to Optional Fields. And over here is where you define it. Put in a name, put in a description. It can be a text field, an amount, a number, an integer number, a yes or no field, a date or a time. We'll stick with text. You can set the max length. And if you click on validate here, it'll only accept values that are in this list. Uh, for this purpose, we won't validate. So add. Now, uh, my field is now available for use, but you have to add this to the correct module. For example, if you want this to show up on your AP vendors, for example, you'll need to set it up over here. So accounts payable, AP setup, optional fields. And in here, you look for the correct area. So if you wanted to put it on invoices, you go here. If you wanted to put it on the vendor, you'd go over here. And the way to add it here is click into the grid, press insert on your keyboard, which will create a new row. And then you'll have a list here of available optional fields. Or you could just type it in. From here, you have various settings. You can set it to be required when you're making a new vendor. You can set it to auto insert as well. But we'll leave those as no for now. So we'll just go save. And if you now go to your AP vendor, if you go to the optional fields, click insert, you can now look for a list of optional fields that are available for vendors, and my field is one of them. My value. Now, next thing you'll want to do and I'm going to I'm going to cause an error here uh, so you can see how to resolve it. Next thing we're going to want to test or well what I want to show here is creating an optional field with validated values. So we'll go back to optional fields. My field 2, we'll call it. We'll say validate. So by putting that in, these are the, the only values that will work for this optional field. We'll click Add. Going through the same steps, we'll go over here, Optional Fields, and we'll try to add it. So we're going to go My Field 2, click Save, and we're going to get this error. So you can only uh, modify optional fields if everyone in Sage has uh, closed the screen that you're trying to add it for. So we're going to close vendors here and click save and that works. So now if we go back to vendors. So we'll go for my field and we'll try to put in test. We're going to get an error because, uh, whoops, it's not. My field already exists, so that was a different error. We want my field too. So if we put in test here, my field 2 is what we just made with the validated values. Test is not allowed because it doesn't exist. So you're only allowed to pick one of these values. And that is how validation works on optional fields.